Well, hello there. It's Greggy Soriano, and welcome to another episode of Greggy's Digest. If you're into satisfying cake decorating videos, please like my Facebook page, or if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and ring-a-ding-ding -ding that little bell to get notifications every time I post a new cake video. I have been redonkulously obsessed with looking up Instagram-worthy pictures of embroidery and beading and textiles, a ton of different stitching. There's these gorgeous hoops that these, it's just so random because I just, I didn't know these group of people existed, but they make the coolest looking embroidery hoops of stitching. There's just a ton of different organic prints that you can do. If you know me and if you've watched my cake videos in the past, I'm all about organic looking art. I'm just always inspired by so many different things that I just want to translate onto cake. I'm going to show you how to make my signature wafer paper flowers with a fun brush stroke effect painted onto each petal. And we're also going to pipe our little hearts out, making a ton of texture and creating a really cool embroidered look right onto the cake. So without further ado, let's get to caking. Crumb coat and final coat an 8 inch, 6 inch, and 4 inch round cake 5 inches in height. Cover each tier in a different shade of mauve so that it creates a beautiful ombre effect. I wanted to create an unkempt type of look when it comes to the edges. To avoid the sharp clean lines and edges, I added some excess frosting on the top and I flattened it out and then I used a bench scraper to flatten out the sides and what that did was pushed it up and it created a beautiful lip that was nice and rough and created some character to the actual lip of the cake. Set the cake in the fridge to chill. Grab some wafer paper and some food coloring or edible paint and create some shades of violets like lilac and periwinkle in blues and violets and just create a beautiful palette of different colors and create brush strokes and have fun with it on to the wafer paper. Paint a quarter of the sheet in green because we're going to make some leaves later on. I have some ready-made stamens out of gum paste on wire and what I'm doing is creating a bud with some sanding sugar in different colors to coordinate with our flower petals that we painted. out each pattern and create different shapes when it comes to the petals and you want different sizes as well so this one's kind of like a forget-me-not and then I did one that's kind of like a poppy so have fun with it google online for some actual flower pictures and look at each petal to see what they look like to use that as inspo Create a slit from the bottom up towards the middle, and you're going to see why we do that later on. And here are some leaves, and you also want to create a slit as well from the bottom up towards the middle. Dampen a brush with just a little bit of water, and brush on one side or flap of the slit that you made, and overlap the dry side on top of the wet side. And what you're doing is creating a realistic cupping effect when it comes to the petals. Grab a stamen and pierce each petal from the bottom up and use just a little bit of piping gel to stick it on kind of like edible glue and arrange your petals to make it look like a beautiful flower.
with the number one tip in pink buttercream. It could also be in pink royal icing. Create some stamens just like this. Cut some wafer paper into shapes like this. You want to create shapes that have a little bit of movement and uh, just a little bit geometric but with just a little bit of movement at the same time. Spread a thin layer of piping gel on each piece and dredge it with some sprinkles or mini dragées. Grab some colanders and strainers in different sizes. Right here, it's kind of like a strainer. I guess it's a tea strainer, or it's like a tea, um, what is it? Like a tea filter type of thing. I don't know what those are called, but basically it's for tea and you put it in your cup and it steeps the tea. And right here I have some pink modeling chocolate and I'm going to put it inside of the little tea strainer and you're gonna see what happens. It's so satisfying when I do this. So I'll stick it right under, and then you're going to extrude it just like this. I'm crazy obsessed with the texture of this. It kind of reminds me of a brain slash uni, and I just love organic shapes like this. And it's just, I love it. It's like a pom pom slash hair or a chia pet. Ch -ch -ch chia I prepared piping bags fitted with a number one tip in lavender, periwinkle, navy gray, ivory, dusty pink, gray, black, forest green, and a pea green. I'm just going to shut my little bokeh and let you have your own little satisfying cake decorating moment and watch me pipe lines till I'm sick of it. Well, I'm not sick of it. I'm actually, it's really relaxing. I love doing this and I can do it all day, air day. Be sure to add our little uni sea urchin chia pet little thingies to our embroidered piping that we've done. And also be sure to add our beaded appliques that we made out of our dragées in lavender and pink.
add some metallic dragées and sixlets in coordinating colors. Adorn it with the pretty, pretty flowers that we made. And finish it off by brushing some edible gold mixed with vodka on our rough, jagged edges to our cake. And here we have it, our embroidery-inspired cake in a mauve color palette. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me pipe my little booty off, piping each little line to make it look like thread that's being embroidered through an embroidery hoop but onto a cake if that totally made sense but I'm really happy with it and I think my vision really manifested right onto buttercream and I'm just so happy that I got to show it to you guys thank you guys again so much for watching it's crazy I'm up to like I think 52,000 likes on Facebook now all because of you guys and that's the reason why I started making these videos again because because of you guys actually watching them and commenting so it really means a lot to me thank you guys again so much and I'll talk to you guys later bye oh I forgot to tell you please be sure to comment down below the timestamp if you found Keiko and I for a shout out on my next cake video and go to greggysoriano.com to support this channel I guess I'll talk to you later bye